Water system motors used in wells, fountains, and aerators are typically filled with a water-based solution. In a deep well, you generally do not worry about the motor freezing. However, in a fountain or pond, they must be protected. If you remove the pump, you will want to store the motor somewhere where it won't freeze. Another option for winter storage for a pond, fountain, or aerator is to sink or weigh the motor to the bottom of the pond. Be sure to place the motor below the lowest freeze level. With surface pumps, don't let them freeze. In cold weather areas, everyone knows to drain or winterize an above ground water system. However, problem areas exist in the normally warmer southern states that may see a sudden cold snap. Water expands as it freezes. Without some place to handle the extra volume, the ice will break the pump or piping. As cold weather approaches, don't forget to protect your above ground water system, plumbing, and equipment from freezing. In the year-around homes, the well pump can still set idle long enough for the water to freeze solid. It may be necessary to provide additional heat to prevent freezing. If the temperatures go really low, keep a small amount of water running continuously until the temperature comes back up to a safe temperature. Running water is more difficult to freeze. When dealing with a jet or centrifugal pump that are not going to be used for a few months, draining the system and moving the pump to a warmer location may be the best way to make it through the winter. To drain the pump, remove the drain plug on the bottom of the pump and the fill plug on the top until the water stops coming out. The draining of the plumbing will still be needed and any water that may be allowed to pool in the plumbing could freeze and split the pipe or fixtures. If the pump cannot be removed from the site, then remove the drain plug in the bottom of the pump body to allow as much drainage as possible and be sure to drain the discharge and suction lines. With the pump body drained as well as possible, replace the drain plug and fill the pump body with propylene glycol, food grade, to mix with whatever moisture is left so the pump will not freeze. Propylene glycol is not a car antifreeze. Car antifreeze is ethylene glycol, which is highly poisonous and must never be used in a well. Let's take a look at draining a jet pump and centrifugal pump to see what we need to do. To illustrate winterizing a pump, we're going to use a shallow well jet pump. The shallow well jet pump is similar to a centrifugal pump or a deep well jet pump, so what I show you will be applicable in all cases. To drain the pump, remove the drain plug on top of the pump case or open a faucet. This allows air into the pump body. Then we will take off the drain plug on the bottom of the pump case. This allows the water to flow through and out of the pump body. Remember, you will have water in both the discharge and suction pipes, so you will have to address that later on to keep the pipe from freezing. Now that we've drained the body of the pump, we still have water in the discharge and suction lines. This can be blown out with an air compressor or drained by gravity through the pipes. We must get the water out or it will freeze and could break the piping. To see what we're working with, let's turn the pump around. We will look at the panels inside and why we will probably have to add some non-toxic antifreeze to this. When you add antifreeze, you should use a pharmaceutical or food grade propylene glycol. Note here at the bottom that the cavity extends below the drain plug that we removed earlier. If water gets trapped in there, it will freeze and could break the casting. There is also a place up above where the cavity extends below the drain plug that can trap water. These small amounts of water can be extremely powerful when ice freezes. Tons of pressure can form and this could break the casting. Now that we've placed the propylene glycol into the pump body, we should discuss the type of antifreeze we're using. Propylene glycol is a non-toxic antifreeze commonly used in ice cream and liquid medicines. Since this is your drinking water system, you need to use a pharmaceutical or food grade glycol. Do not use RV antifreeze. RV antifreeze may have additives that make it unsafe to drink. Never use ethylene glycol. Ethylene glycol is highly poisonous and is commonly used in cars. Remember, ethylene glycol must not be used in any plumbing applications as it is highly poisonous. 
Before we put the non-toxic propylene glycol in the pump body, replace the drain plugs. First, insert the bottom drain plug and then pour in the propylene glycol into the top port. With the propylene glycol in place, reinsert the top drain plug. Now that we've made it through the winter, we will do the same thing we did when we prepared the pump for winter. Remove the drain plugs, drain the propylene glycol, reinstall the drain plugs, and reprime the pump. Once primed, the pump is ready to restart for the season. Once started, be sure to run the pump for a while to make sure all the propylene glycol has been flushed out. For this illustration, we are going to be using a self-priming irrigation pump. Once again, we will be using the same principles that we used on the jet pump. With the pump turned off, we will take out the priming plug and the bottom drain plug. This allows water to drain out of the pump body. With the water drained out, reinsert the bottom drain plug and pour non-toxic propylene glycol into the priming port. To see where we are filling, let's take a look inside. We have cavities at the bottom of the pump that are below the drain plug. These cavities will allow water to remain. When the temperature drops, the water will freeze and the ice can cause the pump case to break. So we need to add antifreeze to prevent this from happening. Always use pharmaceutical or food grade propylene glycol which is safe for human consumption. Never use ethylene glycol or car antifreeze. Fill the cavity to help prevent the water from becoming an issue. When restarting the pump in the spring, drain the pump case, reprime the system, put the priming plug back in place and fire up the pump to flush out the antifreeze. With that, you should be ready to go for the season.